Hey everyone, I'd like to share with you my video. I went to Morikami Japanese Garden today. But before that, I went to eat lunch first in our favorite restaurant. The salad is fresh and really good. Garlic bread. This is soft Italian roll. Looks good. Wisdom Ring is a replica of a 500-year-old stone lantern that has become a symbol of Miyazu del Rebit's sister city in Japan. The original Wisdom Ring, or Chi no Wa in Japanese, stands at a temple dedicated to the Buddhist deity of Wisdom Monju. This replica was donated by citizens of Miyazu, or Miyazu to commemorate Morikami Museum's 20th anniversary in 1987. So here's the food of the fish. I'm gonna feed the fish. The name of the fish. The name of the fish is Koi. Look, they were so happy. Woodruff Memorial Bridge. This bridge marks the entrance to the Japanese gardens and was erected in memory of Mrs. Woodruff, a lover of Japanese gardens by her husband, a U.S. naval commander and Pearl Harbor veteran. This structure symbolizes the link between Japan and Florida that Morikami provides.
This is Shenden Garden, the Japanese nobility of this era adapted Chinese garden design ideals that featured lakes and islands and emphasized informality and appreciation of nature. Such gardens were usually viewed from a boat. The design of the Shinden Garden takes us a thousand years into the past, a return to the golden age of Japan. The purpose of the garden is to provide beauty for the lord of the house and for his guests. Imagine as you look back at the museum that it is the nobleman's house and you are in the ancient capital city of Kyoto. Imagine gliding in a boat on a lake as you compose a poem while musicians on the island play for your pleasure. Enjoy the bright blossoms, sit and listen to the birds and the breeze. The Shinden Garden is a testament to the opulence of a bygone age. I just entered the Kudaimon. Kudaimon or ancient gate was constructed out of Japanese cypress by Tokyo craftsmen skilled in centuries old carpentry techniques and design. The gate takes its inspiration from the entrances of the large mansions of high ranking samurai during the end of the year 1600. Where's everybody? I think I'm lost. This is what they called Shishi Udoshi or Deer Chaser. Consists of a swinging bamboo arm that collects water and once filled strikes a rock basin below. The distinct sound of bamboo striking stone is meant to startle animals that have wandered into the garden. Along with the soothing sound of running water comes the rhythmic sound of the shishi odushi. Using the spring water, this simple contrivance was first used to frighten deer and other animals away from growing crops. Here it is used as a means through its rhythmic clucking to focus on the quietness in between. A representation of the pure land of Buddhist heaven, such gardens were the first intended for strolling rather than being viewed. This is flat garden, evolving out of late, late rock gardens. Flat gardens make more liberal use of plant material and often visually incorporate outside elements through a design technique called borrowed scenery. I'm just gonna relax here in their contemplation pavilion. I think I'm tired. Here is a garden within the garden. Its name is Koro N, Garden of the Shining Dew. It is the work of Norma Nelson, caretaker of the gardens and bonsai collection at the Murakami for many years and who designed and built it in the 1930s. In Buried here, Larry, George Sokiji Murakami, came here as a 19-year-old in 1906. He was from a small town of 
Meizu on the Japan Sea Coast in Japan from a farming family that had some samurai background George came here as a very young man with the idea of staying for a few years and then going back to Japan as a rich young man like most people who had those dreams that one didn't work out he spent the rest of his life here and eventually accumulated land which he donated to Palm Beach County back in the early in 1970s that land roughly 200 acres is what today is Morikami Park this is Cholander Memorial Lantern is dedicated to the seventh Cholander astronauts including Ellison Unisoka, the first person of Asian ancestry, ancestry to travel in space. Bonsai, pronounced bonsai, is a tree in a container as old as the pyramids. The art of sustaining a tree in a container was propagated by travelers from west to east. The Paris World Exhibition in 1900 opened the world's eyes up to bonsai. The end of World War II in 1945 saw the beginning of bonsai being imported from Japan to the US. The art of bonsai design is to shape a tree through various techniques so that it represents but does not duplicate. Trees in nature, an aged effect is desirable. Yamato Island. So refreshing the place, the trees, the birds. That's all for today guys. Hopefully you enjoy it and thank you so much. Good luck.